Hello Sagittarius, welcome to another love reading. I hope you're all doing well. We're going to be looking at how your person is currently thinking about you, what messages do they have for you, and what are their intentions for the near future. And let's jump right in for Sagittarius. Messages please for Sagittarius regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What do we need to know about them? What do we need to know about Sagittarius and this person that they're thinking about or connecting with? All right, Sagittarius. So what do they think about you? How do they view you? How do they view Sagittarius? Five of Swords. Okay. How do they view Sagittarius? I want to get another one before I talk about what that, what I see with that, the devil Capricorn energy. So what I'm seeing here is, and there's the three of swords, either they really hurt you Sagittarius or you hurt them. Maybe you deceived each other. Maybe they deceived you. Maybe you deceived them. Maybe there was a lot of toxicity, fighting, conflicts in this connection, a lot of heartache, a lot of pain, a lot of difficulty. What do they wish they could tell Sagittarius? What message do they have for Sagittarius? King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. What message do they have for Sagittarius? Two of Swords, King of Cups. I think they um, still care about you, Sagittarius, but there's almost like um, a block here. Maybe they feel undecided about moving forward on from what happened or maybe they're conflicted when it comes to you maybe they're just not sure how to proceed we'll clarify all of these in a second but i want to put down the energy first what are their intentions for the future what are their intentions for the future seven of swords hmm what are their intentions for the future queen of cups three of cups at the bottom of the deck so there's something a little bit weird here with the seven of swords because the seven of swords they tend to kind of like avoid confrontation they do things behind the scenes not very open um, kind of trying to get away with something at the end of the day so I kind of sense that even though there's a lot of love here with the king of cups queen of cups a very nice pair I think the issue is still unresolved if your person for example if they hurt you through their actions I see them still hurting you in the future or if you hurt them through your actions I can see that still kind of happening and it could just be because someone's just not sure how to handle something how to address something or isn't sure how to let go of old habits right there are many reasons for this so let's see, before I clarify and get a little more insight, let's get this person's overall energy down here. Spirit, what is this person's overall energy? What is their overall energy when it comes to this connection with Sagittarius? What is their overall energy? Is their overall energy? Cold shoulder, silence, distance, coldness. Someone's feeling shut out. So this person could be feeling shut out. Maybe there's not a lot of communication between you. Uh, maybe this is a situation where there's distance, right? Emotional distance. You just can't seem to reach the other person. Someone could be feeling guarded and distant. So they're not very communicative. They're, they're just not able to really express themselves. So let's get some more insight here. Tell me more about these energies. Okay, so how they view you. Five of Swords and the Devil. What do we need to know, Spirit, about the Five of Swords and the Devil energy? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. Tell me about the Five of Swords and the Devil. Tell me about the Five of Swords and the Devil. The Lovers, 
Capricorn, I mean, not Capricorn energy, that's the devil, Gemini energy. So we have Taurus, Gemini, Capricorn here so far. I'm thinking there could have been a marriage here, a very, or a long-term commitment. Four of Swords. There's a disconnect, yeah, the, t the tower at the bottom of the deck. There most likely was a separation here, a big blow up. Something happened between you that was very painful. And that's what this person thinks about when they think about you. So what do they wish to tell you? What? Why do we have the King of Cups? Hold on. There's the Five of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. So I'm going to put these back, but this is basically how I feel your person is feeling when it comes to you. There's a special connection here with the Two of Cups, a partnership, but also someone's out in the cold, shut out, abandoned, not doing so good. Tell me about the King of Cups and the Two of Swords. Tell me about the King of Cups and the Two of Swords. Queen of Cups and the Four of, Cu of Cups, okay. Tell me about the Queen of Cups, or not the Queen of Cups, the King of Cups and the Two of Swords, Spirit. Why is the King of Cups with the Two of Swords? Eight of Wands, and this one fell out. The Emperor, wow, Aries energy. Um, I think that this is somebody who, they're, they're, they really do care about you. King of Cups, Queen of Cups. There's definitely a pair here, and I think they really do want to talk. At the very least, they want to talk, but they're just not sure about something. I don't know if they're worried that you're not interested. I don't know if they like debate with themselves about how they feel or what they truly want. If you were the one that was hurt, Sagittarius, and you left the connection, this person's worried that love isn't enough. Even if they show up as an emperor, you're not going to be interested. So let's look at this future energy. What are the intentions? Their intentions for the near future. Why is the Seven of Swords here with the Queen of Cups? Why is the Seven of Swords here with the Queen of Cups? Okay, we got two. The Magician, the Eight of Cups. Why is the Seven of Swords here with the Queen of Cups? Why is the Seven of Swords here with the Queen of Cups? King of Cups again. So we have the King and the Queen of Cups that came out twice. I think that this person, okay, can I get one more please? Just for the Seven of Swords by itself before I say anything. Can I get one more please for this Seven of Swords by itself? The Chariot, okay, Cancer Energy. With Justice at the bottom of the deck, Libra Energy. So I think this person might be come, like showing up unannounced or showing up secretly or wanting to meet up secretly or maybe they even drive by your house or something like that. I think this person could also be just wanting to catch you in public or catch you in person somewhere because maybe they don't have access to you. So I do see them kind of driving to your work driving to your mama's house or something <laughs> because they know you're always there something like that i feel like there could also be some sort of secret move or you know that they're making because i have the eight of cups in the chariot here um but i think that this person is wanting to come back in from the cold despite the huge difficulty that they're the huge tower that happened between you. Okay, so what do they wish to tell Sagittarius? What messages do they have for Sagittarius? What messages do they have for Sagittarius? I see you in my dreams, thinking about you a lot, okay? Dreaming about you. What messages do they have for Sagittarius? I have a choice to make. Please wait for me at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. So maybe that's the Two of Swords here. Maybe the Two of Swords with the Eight of Wands is some sort of move that they need to make. Because they're saying they have a choice to make. 
Maybe this choice is to come see you or maybe this choice is to leave some some place. Because the Chariot and the Eight of Cups could be a departure. But I don't know. I feel like there's something I'm, I'm probably missing an important detail here. Feel free to tell me what that is in the comments. But I, I, I can see it both ways. I can see this person secretly like watching you or wanting to visit you. And I can also see this person leaving something behind walking away from something. I feel like there's two groups I'm reading for. What message do they have for Sagittarius? I look for you everywhere. Yeah, that's kind of the message that I got originally here. Like someone that's like looking for you and going to where you typically go to. And bottom of the deck, I want you. There's that desire. So I feel like there's there's multiple things going on here. First of all, I feel like there was a tower moment in this connection between you and this person, and it interrupted what looked to be a very stable or happy connection. I'm also seeing that for some of you, there could have already been a marriage that existed, and maybe that tower happened to interrupt a marriage that existed. So this could have been a third party situation. Regardless of whatever the case is here, what happened was a tower and it caused a rift between you and this person to, so that now they feel like they're left out, abandoned, out in the cold. Despite the fact that there's still feelings here between I feel both of you. I feel like these feelings are mutual. However, there's some sort of a block because I think this person is, you know, undecided about something or you're undecided about something. Um, and then also I see a block here with the Seven of Swords because I feel like let's say this person is leaving the third party or let's say they're leaving some sort of situation behind to come look for you right let's say that's the case the seven of swords is not usually the best way to approach a problem it's very like anti anti-confrontational they don't like to address things head on they like to do things behind people's backs right so typically that's not the best way to to do things so it could be that someone, you know, there's so many ways I could interpret this if there is a third party. Someone could be sneaking off to come see you. Someone could be um, separating from their person, the person that they're with, to come be with you, but they're not really cutting off the cord there. It might be a separation, but not a divorce. It could be that this person is just coming over to see when you're gonna be home. So they're kind of secretly like driving by your house to see if you're gonna be home. Regardless of what scenario you fall under, because there's many ways to interpret this, like I said, the goal is to be this magician, right? To make something happen. So let's clarify that real quick. I think it has to do with justice, making something right. Tell me about the magician. For Sagittarius. Why is the magician here? The page of cups. So this could be somebody apologizing, telling you how they feel, um, telling you they care about you. This is communication. The tower at the bottom of the deck again. So there could be that this communication is surprising. Maybe this is unexpected. Maybe this is um, something that you weren't really prepared for, right? I can see that being the case. Um, and I think all of this is happening because, um, you know, this person, they have a choice to make. They need time to make this choice, right? They desire you and want you. They think about you and they're looking for you everywhere. But maybe you never expected them to make that choice, right? So maybe that's the surprising part. They've actually made a choice. Or maybe the surprising part is that, hey, you never thought you were going to see this person again. Or why are you here in my mom's house? <laughs> that could also be part of it as well. But make no mistake, there's a goal behind this communication. This person is trying to make something happen here. They're trying to achieve a goal. And I think that goal is justice. I think that goal is to make things right with you, to come out of the cold, to not be left behind, you know. And I think they're going to tell you, I'm going to fix things, but please, I need a little bit more time. Please wait for me. I think that's really the energy here. And they're hoping that the feelings between you is enough to have you wait for them despite the craziness that has already happened in your connection. So that's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Hopefully it resonated for you. If you did like it, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you. 
and hopefully I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.